everyone, it's Elise, day 26 of my Happy Life Makeover, and today I want to talk about making decisions. You know, sometimes we get faced with a situation where we get really nervous about whether or not we should take this job or that job, or whether or not we should go on vacation here or there, or take our you know vacation this week or that week, because we think the price to pay for making the wrong decision is really heavy and could be really scary. And so we're thinking, you know, all the options of what could go wrong and, and, you know, what the price might be to pay for making the wrong decision. Do you, do you have a, a sense or a feeling about how that really resonates a sense of survival and um, not sort of a creative mode when you're connected with universe, God, all that is energy? So if you have to make a decision, Try to get into what Abraham Hicks would call your vortex first, that place where you've amassed all your vibrational escrow, where everything is perfect as is and is waiting for you <laughs> there. We so often keep ourselves separate from that. If you find that you have to make a decision from a place of anger or depression or rage or vengefulness and you're just like, man, I cannot raise my vibrational frequency right now and I have to make this decision pronto. It's like right in my face, someone needs a decision for me, I've got to make it. Well, what if you made the decision with the thought, I'm going to go with this and however this turns out is going to end up perfect for me because if the result is uncomfortable, it will help me gain more clarity on what it is I don't want, therefore then help me gain clarity on what it is I do want, and it's just another step in the process. In other words, there is no wrong decision. Isn't that a better feeling thought than, oh my gosh, I don't know what to do, I don't know what to do, I don't know what to do, and then you start calling your friends and like, oh my God, what should I do, you know, and everybody starts putting their input in, well they can only um, put their input in based from their own um, wiring, their own paradigms, their own experiences. Not that your friends don't have good advice because sometimes, you know, a party outside yourself can offer some something that maybe you can't see. But if any friend was going to offer you a bit of advice on making a decision, here's what I think they should say. They'd say, guess what? You already know exactly what to do. Whether or not you can connect with it in this moment, maybe, maybe not. But deep, deep inside, your God self, your inner knower, has already made the decision. Right now, you're just in a state of indecisiveness. When you get into your vortex, you will just line up with that beautiful decision that's already been made by guess who? You, right? So if you're going to offer a bit of friendly advice to someone who calls you panicked or confused, tell them that. Tell them that you know they already know exactly what to do. They may not do it in the time frame that's required, but you know that at some point they will get there. Isn't that the best feeling in the world to know you can't make a wrong decision, that everything just turns out exactly like it's supposed to? So yes, you can adopt that mantra. I know exactly what to do. I know exactly what to do. And, and if your vibration is low, that mantra will start to raise it. So you just find what you can to get into that vortex. Okay, so you can't make any wrong decisions. You guys have a great Monday and I will see you tomorrow. Thanks.